we've got a strand of um, DNA and we've got two phosphate groups. What bonds the phosphate groups? The answer is two deoxyribose. That's the sugar that bonds the phosphate groups. That's just something to learn. Biologists probably already know that. Now, how do you remember which bases bond where? Well, the simple way of doing it is you look in your data book. And in your data book that you have with you in your exam, you'll have all of the bases, ad adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Your first job is to put a lone pair of electrons on any single ends. Any single ends have lone pairs of electrons. So any ends, put your lone pairs of electrons on them. And the same for any O's. Then what you do is you recognise that an NH2, any NH2s, or any NHs, an N bonded to an H. Well, an N is very electronegative, and so that forms a delta minus, and there's a delta plus on the H. You know that because they form intermolecular hydrogen bonds. So you put a delta plus on any of the H's bonded to the N's. So you do that at the start of the exam. We know this question will come up. And then what you do is you need to join the streams together or join the bonds together. And just like I say join the streams together, that, that movie, Ghostbusters, they say the streams will never cross. And that's going to help you. Because what you do is the uh, lone pairs of electrons on that O join to that delta plus on that NH2. So they bond to the NH2 delta plus. The electrons bond to the delta plus and then you go round one more the delta plus goes round the outside of that bond and bonds to the lone pairs of electrons on that n and the o lone pairs of electrons goes round the outside and bonds to the delta plus on that h and then the nh2 the delta plus bonds to the lone pairs of electrons on the o and then you end up with a fifth bond there are five streams five intermolecular bonds that nh the delta plus bonds all the way around the outside to that lone pairs of electrons there. Let me see how that looks. So that looks like that. Lone pair of electrons bonded to the delta plus of the NH2. Lone pairs of electrons of the N bonds to the delta plus of the NH. Um, lone pairs of electrons on the O bonds around the outside to the delta plus of the NH2. Lone pairs of electrons on the O round the outside bonds to the delta plus of the NH2. Lone pairs of electrons on the N round the outside bonds to the delta plus of the NH. And you can see, just like in the Ghostbusters movie, the five streams never cross. And you can also see now that three bonds form, three intermolecular bonds form between the guanine and the cytosine, three hydrogen bonds, and between the thymine and the adenine, only two bond. So let's have a look at what the question is. Now we've got that diagram on our data sheet in our exam. This should be easy. Suggest which of the base A and B forms a pair with guanine. Well, guanine forms with cytosine. In other words, one of these is cytosine. Well, it looks very similar to cytosine. So let's have a look which one looks similar to cytosine. We've got an NH2. That one's got an NH2. We've got an O. Sorry. We've got an N with a lone pair of electrons. There's the N with lone pairs of electrons. And we've got an O with lone pairs of electrons. There's the O with lone pairs of electrons. It's got to be base A. But for four marks, we're going to say that this O with the lone pairs of electrons on top of the guanine is going to bond to the NH2 with a hydrogen bond of base A. We're going to say that the NH with the delta plus on the H of guanine is going to bond to the lone pairs of electrons on the N of base A. And then we're going to say that the delta plus of the NH2 on the guanine is going to bond to the lone pairs of electrons on the O of base A in just the same way as it did cytosine. Cisplatin works because one of the atoms on guanine can form a co coordinate bond. A coordinate bond is a covalent bond. It's just that both electrons have come from one of the atoms. Instead of one of it, atom putting one electron into the share and another atom putting another electron into the share, both of them have come from uh, a single atom. 
So you're looking for an atom with two electrons, in other words, a lone pair of electrons with platinum. So which one on guanine, which one, and it says another atom on guanine can form the same bond with platinum replaced another ligand. In other words, you're looking for two atoms on here, similar atoms with lone pairs of electrons. And your answer are the ends. The ends bond to the platinum. They've got a pair of electrons here, and there's another N there. They're the only atoms, to, there's two of those. There's only those with the oxygen's got two here, but it's not two separate atoms. That's got a lone pair of electrons. That's got a lone pair of electrons. They're identical atoms. One will bond to cisplatin, and the other one will bond to cisplatin as well. So your answer are those two ends. Uh, suggest one way in which cisplatin could be administered so that the side effect of it being toxic is not uh, is minimised. Uh, administer it in small amounts.